Okay, guys, uh, welcome back uh, to another tutorial. I think this one's going to be a very exciting tutorial. It's going to show you how to create some, you know, dark, uh, snowy grass with a snowfall and revealing text with a spotlight and everything. So, this is what it's going to end up looking like. So, looks pretty cool. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get started with our uh, uh, video. Now, just to clarify a couple of things. Um, you're going to need particular, but not really. I'm going to show an alternate way to making it with uh, making this, like, the particular. It comes with a preset called, like, Snowy Nightfall, and it, it just makes it real easy to uh, make the snow. But I'll show you how to do it with particular, so for the people that don't have, I mean, CC Particle World, for the people that don't have particular. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be using particular. I'm just going to show you how to create the snow, and then we're going to be done with that for, for then. All right. So let's get started with a uh, new comp. Uh, command N for Mac. C uh, control N for Windows. All right. So we got our new comp. We're gonna go up to here. We're gonna uh, let's create a new layer, a new layer, solid. Okay. Um, we're gonna go down to effect. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here, CC hair. Now, um, we're gonna turn this uh, density down just just to like see about one. 63 yeah um let's turn we're going to turn this up to the thousands right here so you get that little curve going on all right and then we're going to come up into map softness and turn this up just just enough let's see uh that's pretty good right there and we're going to add full noise and you see it's already starting to look like the grass on my thing just need to get that color and sharpness and everything in there so, we're going to go in a hair color. We're going to change this to a little bit lighter. Let's see, let's see. It's looking pretty good right there. All right, um, let's see. Color inheritance. Hmm. I don't know. We might come back to that. All right, uh, lights and shading. Uh, they're, all, they're all all right. All right, so let's pull this up. And now we're going to add a glow to the uh, grass. So let's just come down to stylize glow. And all we're really going to do is just turn this down a good bit. So let's get it down about right here. All right, so now that's looking pretty good. So um, Um, we're going to add, uh, what was it? Oh, a new layer, a uh, new adjustment layer. We're going to add our spotlight. So we're going to come to, let's see, perspective. No. Ah, yep, there it is. <laughs> Sorry for that. I mean, I'm a little off today. Um, let's see, intensity. Let's, see, let's turn it up. Hold on, let's see, where did I have, uh, we're gonna turn this, let's see, uh, uh, about right there, we'll get it right there, and then we'll turn the cone angle up to about 12, height, 50, yeah, it's pretty good, alright, edge softness, see. Uh, it looks pretty good right there, alright, so, now when we got that, we're going to add a uh, effect Hold on to the adjustment layer. Let's go to effect, color correction, hue and saturation. 
and we'll turn the hue to about, mm, let's see, 19, turn the saturation down to about 31, let's see, that's looking pretty good right there. Um, now we'll go to uh, add another effect to the adjustment layer. This one's going to be color correction, exposure. And we'll put this one above the uh, hue and saturation. All we need to do is just turn it down just just a little bit right here. And it looks pretty good right there. It'll see it a lot. It'll get a lot clearer as we go along. Um, now what we're going to uh, now what now what we're going to apply is color correction uh... where is it shadow and highlight now uh... we're gonna take off the uh... auto amount highlight we're gonna turn the shadow all the way down we're gonna turn the highlight amount up let's see about right here and we're gonna move the shadow and highlight above the hue and saturation as well um, let's uh, go back to the effects and add another one to the adjustment layer um, let's see color correction let's see let's see let's see let's see uh, bright brightness and contrast let's see um, let's turn the contrast down let's see let's see hold on How did I have it? I had it at four. Let's see. I think I had it at four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it at that for now. We'll put this uh, right above the hue, and the hue and saturation. We'll go back up to effect. We'll go to blur and sharpen. Um, sharpen. Turn the sharpen up to, let's see. Uh... Fourteen looks pretty good, so um, move that above the brightness and contrast. Actually, let's get this all lined up perfectly. Um, let's go ahead and close all these up so it doesn't take up so much space. All right. Okay. All right. Now, um, I forgot a uh, important factor in getting the color just right. Um. Now I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna do this real quick. I want to go back to my other, uh, my original video and get the color from there. Let's see. It's just no, uh, not that. We're gonna drop it over here. And then now, we'll, now what I'm going to do is go into my layer settings for my original solid. And we'll grab the color like that. Um, the color is 00FFEA. Type it in right here to get the same exact color I have. So um, hit OK. We'll just delete that. And there you go. You got that color that I had. All right. Now... Thank mm -hmm. you.